Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading for Cancer. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for October 2022. Uh, we are going to take a look at your older energies, uh, what surrounds you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for October regarding your career, your money, and then we will take a look and see what else you guys need to know, what to look out for, what you need to work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, um, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link uh, for that is in the description box below, okay? So cancer, let's get started. Tell me about cancer here. Um, over energies for cancer regarding their career and their money. For uh, October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for cancer regarding their career and their money. the eight of cups All right seems like we're about to walk away from something here uh cancer we have the page of swords libra aquarius gemini some of you guys might be looking for a new job okay you guys are you know trolling on the internet either on linkedin or indeed or on craigslist okay page of swords libra aquarius gemini some of you guys might be leaving employment uh, or, and maybe you guys are going back to school or that you guys may be taking a course or something like that to improve your skills, okay? Um, we have the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Seems like you're really overwhelmed. I, I feel like you're trying to find out, you know, what is it that you want? You know, I, I feel like you're trying to pursue a goal here, but I feel like you don't know what that goal is yet, okay? So I feel like you're trying to figure it out. You're, you're, you're definitely on a search, on, on a hunt here, okay? So I feel like this has been really like a long journey for you and it's like ongoing. Uh, so uh, Knight of Swords, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini again. You guys might have some air energy here. Uh, some of you guys might have served in the military in the past here, okay? Um, or that some of you guys might be police officers or work in law enforcement or that you guys want to do something like that, okay? Um, we have the hangman here in the Five of Cups. You're definitely trying to seek, you're definitely see, trying to seek some sort of enlightenment here. I feel like there's an energy of being disappointed in yourself or something like that where you feel like you didn't really, you know, maybe take life seriously. Okay, maybe take your study seriously or something like that because there's a sense of feeling a bit lost here. Okay, so I feel like you're trying to find answers. You're trying to find, you know, what is it that you really truly want to do? Um, let's see, the Eight of Cups. With the Ten of Pentacles, wow. Page of Swords and the Two of Swords. What I'm getting from here with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is that money doesn't really buy you happiness because you might be working in a situation where you are being paid a lot of money and I feel like it's not fulfilling for you. And I feel like you're just seeking a higher purpose here, okay? Two of Swords. I mean, money allows you the safety uh, and security uh, to be able to uh, pursue the things that you want to do that makes you happy, you know? So uh, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Nine of Wands here, and the Six of Pentacles here. Okay, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Six of Pentacles here. Definitely looking for to do something that's more passionate. I feel like you want to get into something where you're, you know, giving back to others here, uh, giving back to others here and helping others here. Yeah, I feel like you're confused because I feel like you went on a trajectory of doing what you're supposed to do, okay? Perhaps, you know, following societal norms, following, you know, family 
traditions or something like that or cultural stuff but I feel like you're trying to steer away from that because I feel like you're trying to find something of your own here okay um, because I feel like you've always done the right thing you know what society has dictated or what your family has dictated for you but it just seems like it's just not rewarding for you uh, the uh, hangman Piscean energy I said that already hold on I have an itch in my ear um, we have the Empress Libra Taurus five of cups in the world so cancer you're definitely in this period of transitioning enlightening yourself there's an energy of definitely leveling up here okay so you know i feel like you're leaving you know these indoctrinations that were indoctrinated you into you uh you're leaving that behind and i feel like you're do, like i said i feel like you're doing something where you're giving back to others here and helping others here okay being generous with others so you know i do feel like there's a cycle that's ending I, you know i feel like even though it's not showing on the table here you're definitely going through some sort of rebirth yeah you're definitely going through some sort of rebirth so um let's just see what else we have here what else do we have here for cancer regarding their career and their money what else do we have here for cancer regarding their career and their money sun moon rising venus signs for cancer Oh, we have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, and then we have the Ace of Wands, wow. Um, I, I'm getting that you're sort of having this like aha moment sort of thing where, okay, I think I know what to do. So there is a new beginning that's happening here. I mean, this Ace of Wands could be a new idea, could be a new business that you're trying to start here. Whatever it is, this is something that we're really passionate about, okay? Um, you know, I feel like this thing that you're starting involves a lot of communication with other people here. So I feel like you're going to be uh, maybe collaborating a lot with people, working a lot with different people here. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, and the Four of Cups. Okay, Cancer Pisces with the High Priestess. That's your energy right here. And then the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Five of Swords here. You know, there's an the energy of definitely putting yourself first, okay? Um, you know, I feel like you're fighting for what you want. I do feel like you're taking your sweet old time and not rushing, though, okay? But I feel like you're really taking this opportunity to really dig deep into your higher self here to figure out what that is or what that looks like to you when it comes to what you want to pursue here, okay? So, you know, with the High Priestess and the Empress here, you're definitely in this, like, wiser energy, you know, energy where you have, you know, balanced amount of wisdom here. So I do feel like some of you guys might be, you know, uh, a, a bit wiser for your age right now. Um, so, you know, I, I do feel like, you know, there is a lot of growth and expansion here moving forward for you guys. Okay, there's a huge shift maybe in your awareness and your consciousness. Um, so, I, and I feel like you're, you're, you're definitely sort of like, you know, you're definitely not ignoring the signs here, okay? The Judgment card and the Nine of Swords, okay? Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Yeah, so whatever this new thing that you're starting here, it could be stressing you out. You know, you could be losing sleep over this uh, because I do feel like there is some sort of excitement surrounding this. We have the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups, wow. Four of Cups. In the page of wands yeah whatever this is this is something that you're really excited about because i feel like this is going to give you the fulfillment that you're looking for the happiness that you're looking for here uh aries leo satch with that page of wands queen of swords libra aquarius gemini we have the knight of pentacles and the four of swords and then we have the five of swords and the justice card yeah i feel like you're doing what's right for you um some of you guys could be pursuing something in the in the justice system maybe in law yeah, maybe some of you guys might be taking um, that law exam or that you guys might be pursuing, you know, um, law. Yeah, so there's a lot going on here, Cancer, but there's definitely an energy of leveling up here, okay? Um, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.